is like seriously rapid. Hi, Matt from 4x4 Accessories and Tyres. So, special day today. We're out in Asia again, and I've finally managed to get my hands on uh, the new Raptor. Now, I was hoping it was gonna be the V6 petrol, and it is. I've jumped in it, I've just been driving for sort of two or three minutes, and not many cars put a smile on my face. But the power and the delivery of this thing and the noise of the exhaust from this V6 petrol just sounds absolutely ridiculous. Um, I've not stopped smiling. I've only been in it five minutes. Such a cool place to be. The interior, the, the Ranger Wild Track interior is very, very good and very nice, but this is stepped up a level as well. So we've got all these coloured inserts in here that actually do match the, the code orange paint colour same dash and everything as well but we've got a bit more leather trim so we've got the Raptor steering wheel perforated Nappa leather on the steering wheel as well very race-esque with the center point on the steering wheel same matching leather trim we've even got a bit of Alcantara on here and on the dash as well which is very very nice and it's just the little touches as well um, you've got loads of different sport modes that we'll go through and I'll show you um, when I do pull up but one of the coolest features that I do like is these auxiliary um, buttons up here. So very fighter pilot, very fighter jet, just, it, I just love it. It's absolutely fantastic. So again, what we've got on here is, uh, we have got this central screen here, um, as is the same as the Ranger, and we've still got this digital dash, so this, this very modern, full digital display on here. So as you can see, if we zoom into there, we've got a load more cool features on there that, that's not available on Ranger, that's only available on Raptor. So as you can see, we've got the, the rev counter here, uh, fully digital, as you can see, and then we've got the speedometer here as well. Up on the top, some different displays that you don't get on Ranger. So you've got water temperature, you've got oil, you've got boost pressure, and obviously you've got your fuel gauge up there as well. Now, this vehicle has got loads and loads of different modes that puts in different setups, changes suspension, changes the exhaust, changes the, the drivability of the car, so the steering input, if you put it in a racy sort of mode or Baja mode, basically it, it makes the steering a bit heavier, makes it feel a bit more direct, feel like you're driving it a little bit more, it's not very light, but also driving it in traffic, as you can see here, is, is just nice and easy, you just feel like you're in, you're in anything really. But what is very, very cool, on there's a lot on this multifunction of steering wheel, there's some cool little buttons on here as well. So as you can see, just around here, you've got an exhaust sound. So you can change the exhaust, it's got four different modes. Obviously I'm in sports mode because it puts that smile on my face. You've got suspension mode on there as well, so you can change it. So what the suspension's got is different, different settings. And what that does is when, when you change that, um, basically in the suspension is the iron filings and stuff in there that puts a lot electric charge it's in all modern like sort of sporty cars makes them a lot stiffer makes them a bit more reactive so you can change that just at the click of a button on your steering wheel and then you've got basically your steering as well so from the click of a button on your steering wheel what you can do is you can change your steering input you can change your suspension and you can change your exhaust note or it's got this little raptor button here as well and what that does it allows you to cycle through the different drive modes on there as well. Now, the display on there, it looks okay when you do it on your steering wheel, but the best one is if you put it in the drive modes in here. So basically, you can cycle through. Very, very cool little display on there. And so we're in race mode there, it puts a little thing of a racetrack. And then what we've got there, it changes it to wet weather. Nice little cool rain, raining scene. We have got sort of like grass or field sort of type of thing, but it, they're all color coded as well. So you can see the rev counter as well. Once you change it to the sort of like the grassy field environment, it changes it to green. You cycle through again. What you've got there is sand. But what it's also doing, it's already changing all the presets. So if you're in sort of like slippy conditions when we get to that one, it'll automatically put the car into four wheel drive. It changes the suspension and it changes the sound of the exhaust note. And they're all predetermined settings that are in them modes there as well. Now, if I managed to be able to get one of these cars in the UK, if I was driving it, it would only be in one mode and that would be that exhaust note in race mode because it just puts the biggest smile on your face. So 
Again, there's a different sort of sand mode on there. And there we go, we've got to the end now. So as we're gonna do some more driving, I'm obviously gonna change it back to uh, change it back to race mode. So built into, as I've noticed in our car back in the UK, and certainly with the Raptor and the Wildtrak models as standard, you've got the blind spot radar that's built into the into the rear lights. So as a standard feature, like you get on all modern German cars, is if I pull past there, you can see blind spot indicator that's very neatly put into, into the mirror. So where you are on uh, full chat, you can make sure that you're not just gonna dive in and crash. Um, but yeah, but another very cool feature. having a bit of a play in all this traffic and uh, using the actual um, gear selectors on the uh, or behind the steering wheel and I can't even begin to describe how big a smile and how good this car is to drive it they Ford have done they've just absolutely smashed it uh, the range of the wild track is very very good don't get me wrong but let me tell you anybody that gets into any of these dealerships and drives one of these things will buy it. It is incredible. Have you ever seen any mud flaps as big in your life? You've got no chance of any stones coming into your all the exhaust. Look at that. <laughs> so spending a bit more time in this, we've just done some very, very slow motorway driving. You can see some on some of the videos, you can have some fun very, very easily. Just a little blip of the throttle and this thing just absolutely lights up. Just, as you say, just talking around this interior a little bit as well. Some familiarities with the with the Ranger Wild Track. You've still got all your Apple CarPlay and everything built into here and all the functionality is pretty much exactly the same. Um, we've got a slightly different gear knob down here. Now, what I just need to make sure of is I'm not sure whether this is just limited to Australasian spec or it is what we're getting over in uh, in Europe and certainly in the UK. So that might be the only thing that differs. I know our range of wild track, you'll see it's slightly different gear lever. But apart from that, all the functionality down here and everything's the same. Still got the same drive mode, everything like that on there, as well as the multifunctional steering wheel with everything on. But all in all, very very excited to get our hands on this car in the UK everybody who buys this car is just gonna fall in love with it because it's got everything it's got power it's got performance it's got all modern technology and obviously it's a pickup um, but you don't actually feel with this performance that you're actually driving a pickup now this v6 petrol engine I think is just what these cars have needed the the previous Raptor very very good with that two-liter bi-turbo engine but this thing is just incredible. 